Hello all, in this video we will talk about uh, uh, the non-recurring costs in embedded development. So we will see what is a non-recurring cost and then uh, what all fall under this uh, non-recurring cost. So one time costs to produce a unit are called non-recurring costs. So example, let us assume uh, the board you see on the left which is a Raspberry Pi initial version, right? Uh, so to produce this unit, <coughs> this is a unit, right? So to produce this unit, there will be some costs which are associated and uh, they will be only used, uh, they will cost only once. Example, if you produce 10 ports of such Raspberry Pi, um, while you purchase material or you <coughs> manufacture a board, um the, the these you have to do for all the 10 items right but there are some uh, parts of it where you need to invest only for one board and the same thing can be used across uh, uh, all the 10 boards that we are talking here so such one time costs um, are called the non recurring costs example let us talk about some of the examples example the stencil which is developed right uh, so if you want to solder a pcb you have to dip, uh, if you want to solder components onto a pcb you have to deposit solder paste onto it for that we develop something called stencil so the pcb stencil uh, can be used to deposit solder paste across uh, uh, the number of uh, uh, pcbs that are manufactured right so this is called a one time cost okay that means the same stencil is used across PCBs, but you have to invest only on one stencil there. And firmware developed for the unit. So example, uh, if you have developed a firmware for this specific unit, the same firmware can be used across different boards, right? Uh, different boards of a lot of production we are seeing here. So what happens is uh, uh, once uh, uh, the firmware is developed tested and developed it is common across boards and you recover this cost over a period of time right so these are all one time costs when we talk about the software so in embedded terms when we talk about software it is more about uh, the gui applications that we develop uh, uh, as a part of the usage of the product and then amount spent on purchasing equipment so if you want to test a particular board and and if you are investing on the equipment for your lab so that also falls under non-recurring costs so uh, generally the costs associated we divide into recurring as well as non-recurring costs so recurring costs are those we are talking here uh, non-recurring costs are what we have talked here there are uh, recurring costs so one example we told right uh, while we are doing uh, uh, while we want to, if you want to produce 10 boards so we have to manufacture 10 bare pcbs and also purchase components for uh, all the 10 boards so these are all recurring costs so if you want to do something you have to invest again uh, hope we made it clear thanks for watching the video